So I was tagged by Jets Blankets to let you guys know the things that I would never buy again. Item number one. This elf. It says... Some kind of shine gloss. The top is the little brush. Has a product. Has a twist. And it dispenses the product inside of the little brush. Um, it smells funky. Not funky, but just weird. The color is really light. You have to keep twisting, twisting, twisting for anything. This is a piece of paper. And that's all the product. Like, I twist it like a million times. Um, and then, ooh, good song. And then when you get it in your mouth, like, here on your lip, and you get it in your mouth, it tastes really perfumey. So, I didn't like that. And this was in honey. Didn't like that. That was a waste of one dollar. Next thing I have is the Wet n Wild Idol Eyes, and this is in a black. Um, it looks pretty cool, but it twists and it goes up and down, and then on the other side it has a smudge. Um, yeah, no. When you're trying to line your eyes, you gotta like do it like a million times. It's not smooth, like the perfect point plus so that was pretty much a waste because I never use that this actually was given to me um it's a styly styly style line and seal in twilight waterproof this is another one where you have to put on and put on and put on and I just don't have the time to be tugging and putting on like a thousand times two swipes should be good enough This is not originally what the brush looked like. It's a painter's brush. One of the brushes that I featured in one of the videos. So Royal Soft Grip SG4000. It was like more um, like teardropish. Yeah, I cut it because it was so long, and I figured it could be a nice blending brush. This is so hard. It's just no good. So I actually threw it in the trash and I pulled it out for this video. But it's a pretty looking brush. And the other two that I got are fine. I got an angled and I got a just a regular something you can use for shadow. Next thing. The e.l.f. eye makeup remover pads. I had this. And I left it out. And they are dry. Dry, dry, dry. And they're small, too. I mean, they're only a dollar. But, um... But they're... They're so small. Like, you could, like, swipe the top of your eyebrow off, and that's it. And then you gotta use, like, 20 of them, so... It's kind of a waste. I thought it was good, but it's not so good. Next thing I have is this Avon Shimmer Shadow and Liner Duo. And this is in a... The shadow is, I don't know, this is in some brown. This side is the liner. That's a cat fur. That wasn't in there. This is the liner, which probably isn't a bad liner. Just did on this paper. It seems like a nice line for a brown, actually. Mm -hmm. It's the other side that I don't like, which is the liquid shadow. <laughs> that sounds real good on the thing. It comes like this. The color's pretty, but it's just like... It's just, uh... I don't know, it's just... Uh, I didn't find it so great. And it's flaking. It's a mess. Okay. And the last thing is something that's probably going to get me some hate mail. But it's not hate mail. Because everybody has their own opinion. I don't know how to curl my lashes. And for me to have this shh, 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 eyelash curler, it doesn't do anything for me. It, it like 
bends my eyelashes, and I don't like it. I saw it on the TV last night on the what was that QVC? QVC? QVC last night. 19 bucks. I bought mine at Sephora. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Everybody always talks about these and they love it and this is the best kind. They go out and buy like 20 of them. I don't know. It doesn't work for me. Or maybe somebody needs to teach me how to use it. I'm not going to throw it away. But um, that's my big disappointing purchase. So anyway. Okay. The people I'm tagging. My peeps. I gotta tag them because I think they're gonna respond. And I'll put it in the description box. And um, so those are the products that I regret purchasing. And I hope you enjoy it.